everyone, welcome back to the Jersey Collection videos. Today we're taking a look at my Vegas collection. Now, there isn't a lot of Vegas jerseys just out there. There's only been four in total. Um, we do have four jerseys to look at today. I only have three. Uh, I don't know how... There's two of them are the same. That That's basically the point I'm trying to make. So I'm going to show you those. I've already done... What was it? Washington and Winnipeg. So this will be Vegas. Up next will be Vancouver. If you haven't already and you're kind of new to these, I would recommend going and checking out my intro video. I'll leave a link to that kind of at the end of this video. So if you want to go check that out, kind of get a little bit better of an understanding of what's going on, I'll let you watch that. Quick little word today. Uh, I will probably try to do a bigger video on this, but UC Okanen today retired. He's my favorite player of all time. And I'm sad but kind of happy at the same time. I really kind of hope he gets into coaching. I think you do a fantastic job uh, on the coaching side of the game, but we'll see. Maybe he's just tired and doesn't want anything to do with hockey anymore and just wants to go play golf for the rest of his life, which doesn't sound too bad. All right, but we're going to get started off here with the first jersey that I have to show you guys. All right, so this was the first Vegas jersey that I bought. I'm not showing these all any of these jerseys really in the order of which I bought, probably with the exception of Vegas. They are all in order of how they should be, which lines up with how I actually bought them. Uh, so this one, obviously the home jersey with William Carlson on the back. Uh, it's from their inaugural season, got the patch on there, and it is the size 46 with a small logo, and it does have the button. Normally I typically remove these buttons, but I feel like the Vegas one, I should probably leave it on there because this is their first year in the league, and this is the first year jersey, so might add to the value a little bit by leaving it on. The jersey itself I got at Pro Hockey Life here in Calgary. I did pay full price for it. I'm not proud of that particular feature. And then I had it sent out to Keener Jersey in Winnipeg to get the name and numbers put on there. And that was also pretty expensive. So this is one of my more pricey jerseys out there. And I'm kind of looking to not get rid of it by any means. This is staying with me forever. But upgrade it so it has the size 46 with the full size logo. Alright, so up next is the road jersey. Um, I got this one through Cool Hockey and I got Pierre Edward Belmar on there. He's one of my absolute all-time favorite players and very, very happy to have this in my collection. I absolutely love this. I was ecstatic to get it. I didn't think I would probably end up finding one as soon as I did, but this is absolutely amazing and I would love to get this frame because Pierre Edward Belmar definitely deserves that. And up next, you can kind of see what I mean, two of the same one. I have this one, it's a 46, but this one does have the full size logo, and this one is blank at the moment. I do want to get this sent out at some point and probably have Riley Smith put on there, or maybe Shea Theodore. Um, I'm kind of hoping to get Theodore on the gray jersey at some, or the gold jersey at some point, but I think Riley Smith would probably be my choice to get on this one. And I got this one through Ben H Sports. And making its channel debut. You guys haven't seen this yet. Um, I didn't do an unboxing of it because I wanted to save it for here. But I couldn't not, or I couldn't leave it in the box. So I had to open it, but I figured I would save it and not show it on the channel until you guys saw this video. Is the Vegas Reverse Retro. And I absolutely love it. I think this is one of the best Reverse Retros that, out of the entire league. And at first, when they first came out, I didn't like it. I thought the pictures... Uh, like the promotional pictures that Adidas did, it did not flatter this at all. But seeing it in full uniform and seeing it on ice and in the game, it completely won me over. And this is... I, I, I don't want to say it's my favorite Vegas jersey, but it is right up there. I, I love it. And this is my favorite part. I love these lines kind of going down to create that V. I think that's just spectacular. It's, it is a perfect jersey. There is absolutely nothing I would change about this. Like... Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I do want to get Chandler Stevenson put on there because it is blank at the moment. And Chandler Stevenson really won me over this year in Vegas. He's been a very fun player to watch. Now honestly, I this is one of the newer-ish jerseys, but I don't remember where I got this or what website I got it from. Uh, it wasn't from Ben. It wasn't from Cool Hockey. It might have been Sport Check. I, I don't really remember how I actually got this. Which is odd because it is one of the newer ones but oh well all right but that pretty much does it nice and quick um i'm not really going to go into my five favorite jerseys 
for each franchise like it would for the rest of the teams. There's not even five jerseys. There's only four, so... I, and I like all of them equally. I, on any given day, I would say that one's number one or this one's number one. It, I don't really know. So for this one, I'm not going to do a team ranking. And at some point this summer, I would really like to add the gold third jersey. I think that thing is... It's not very nice, and I don't really like it, but it's so unique, and as a collection item, I think it would be perfect for my jersey collection, and it would give me, you know, a jersey to get another player on, like Shea Theodore or something, so, yeah. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you very much again for watching. I really appreciate it, and like I mentioned earlier, Vancouver will be up next, and that one will be a little bit longer. I do have quite a few Vancouver jerseys, to my surprise. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. I won't be filming any videos tomorrow, most likely. Um, so this one's kind of in place of that. I was pretty much ready for bed, and I figured I should probably do this. Um, pretty tired. I did a nice 45 minutes on my new bike, if you haven't seen. I got a fancy new Rogue Echo bike or something, and it is amazing. My ass is so sore. That seat is not comfortable at all. But I got a nice 45 minutes in today. Not all at once. I'm still not... I'm, I'm very out of shape, so it was throughout the day I kind of was able to kind of get, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen, another five, one minute. Uh, so it kind of all added up, but I feel pretty good after that, and I'm looking forward to keep going with that. So, yeah, that should be fun. All right, but like I said, we're going to end it here. Um, if you guys want, you can check me out on Instagram or Twitter. I'll leave the links to those in the description, as always. And if not, that's completely all right, but I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.